everyone. Welcome to our tranquil journey along the Oxford Canal. After picking up the boat, the very first thing we had to do was wind at the nearest available point. We winded the boat just above a lock which joins the River Thames at Oxford. Once winded, we were in the right direction to head north up the Oxford Canal. As we travel, we thought we would tell you a little bit about this canal's history. The Oxford Canal was initially designed by James Brindley, though sadly he died in 1772 and never got to see its completion. We were instantly rewarded with some beautiful weather, wonderful scenery and lots of interesting boats, as well as a swing bridge that wouldn't stay open. It took 16 years between 1774 and 1790 for the entirety of the canal to be opened. Its main purpose was the transportation of coal from Coventry to the River Thames. Despite the introduction of the Grand Union Canal, which effectively replaced the need for the southern section of the Oxford Canal, trade continued on this waterway well into the middle of the 20th century. Observant viewers will remember that last year we attempted the Oxford Canal, picking a boat up from Rugby. However, due to the volume of traffic, we were unable to get very far south and instead ended up going up the Grand Union Canal.
year we've hired from a slightly different location and are convinced that we'll be able to do the Oxford Canal in a week. Stay with us and see if we manage to complete our journey. If you enjoyed this video, why not tap the like button and also subscribe so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. It really means a lot to us.